What's up, y'all? Today in this video, I had a great day. Uh, it started off really nice and easy for job-wise. I took my tractor and, and I basically helped this guy. He uh, he had a ton of gravel delivered for like a future parking slab slash garage spot, and. I don't know why, but they didn't back up the dump truck all the way to where he wanted it. So, you know, he was a little frustrated about that. And um, on top of that, his wife was pregnant and they can't do it himself. They can't do it themselves because he's so busy. He like goes around the, the nation like welding and he's a machinist. So he says he has a really cool life. Like it was one of the coolest jobs I've ever heard in a long time. All right, guys, so this is the job. It was a little challenging because there was a pole in the middle of this. And I kind of understand why the dump guy couldn't back up, but at the same time, you know, like if if you're doing this full time, you should be able to get most of that in there. This, this is what me and the guy are talking about. And he's telling me that the landscaper, if you look, there's like a one foot dug down area, pretty much from the, you know, the alley to where you can see. And he told me it took the guy three weeks. It's crazy because that would have took me a day, maybe two at the most because the stumps that were there. I'm fine with some of the piles being muddy so I can scoop up this front side. Yeah, I really don't. Honestly, I don't care because all this is going to end up getting is probably pulled up and spread around in uh, springtime when I actually go ahead and do the concrete. Okay. So, yeah, if it's dirty, I give a shit. Sounds good. He originally quoted this to be a three day job, the original landscaper. And he showed up with a shovel and a rototiller. Guy asked me, he was like, well, how much would you would have charged to do that? And I told him, I was like, oh, probably five or $600 and it would take me a day. And he was really mad because, it's, you know, they had, a week, they had to wait three weeks and that, you know, messed up a lot of other plans. And on top of that, you know, he's a busy guy. He has to adjust his schedule like crazy. So uh, yeah, it was just really cool that we got to talk about that. And he was so chill about, like as far as like, um, you know, the dirt, if you see in the back, there's dirt in the gravel. He didn't care. This is just going to be a base for something in the future. So it was a really quick and easy job. And I had a lot of fun, made a new connection. Now this guy, he's a welder. I've been trying to get like really good in my connection game. And by that, basically, I mean, you know, get with a ton of guys who wait, pause. <laughs> get to know a lot of guys who are in the trade so I can trade a trade. <laughs> you know, like for example, I have an electrician coming out to my house and instead of someone who quoted me $350 to do some work, he's gonna come over, do all the electrical for me and then I'm gonna go to his house and do some landscaping for him. So hopefully I can, you know, have more connections like that. You know, get an attorney, I got the welder guy, all those type of trades. You know, that's, that's kind of what my goal is for the future. I think having a degree in schooling is, you know, pushed to everybody, but that's not for everybody. You know, we got to have people in the trades and it's really cool to be able to have connections with people in the trades, especially when I'm a tradesman myself. So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I, uh, I did that in like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, but uh, knocked it out, got some quick money. Then I did like four or five quotes today. So, yeah. All right, y'all, so now we're at my mom's and check out what I got. The butter burger, curder burger. I don't know what it's called. Cammy's bed is more comfy than mine. Yeah. That bed is like laying on like a table. Did you put the heater on it? Fucker or no? Oh. It still has the heated, I have the heated bed sheet and then my heated blanket. So I just got to plug it in, but she sleeps in my room. She, well, last night I fell asleep um, and she was in her room. Then I woke up and she was like in my armpit, like tucked in. Like, and then I woke up to like put her arm on my chest to like, like nuzzled into me. So I stayed laying down for like another five minutes, but. It's hard to get up when you wake up again. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't. You don't want to move. Mm -mm. So that was my first time having the curd burger or the curder burger. And honestly, it was really good. Like, I always get cheese curds with my burger instead of the fries. Sometimes I do the 
cheeseburger fries and the cheese curds. But they just combined everything in one. And it's like a, just a fat patty of cheese and cheese curd. And it's awesome. It tastes amazing. So Culver's good job. Nice seeing you. Thanks for picking me up for the plow. Yep. Appreciate it. Anything you want to say to the viewers? I don't know. I'm just putting you on the spot. You need more minutes. Than you're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably around like two or three right now. Uh, what's your favorite thing about the house? Right now, all the windows so I can see all the fall leaves and all the colors. Nice. That's cool. Because it's beautiful. Especially now that the clouds are gone and the rain is done. True. Yeah, every time I see the tree out in the island, I think of when Cyber helped dug it. When he was digging that big hole. <laughs> Cyber! <laughs> What'd you do that for? Cyber! <laughs> Cyber! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no! <laughs> what are you. <laughs> Cyber, give him. <laughs> Dig. Come on, yeah, dig. Dig. Right here, come on. Look, what's this? Dig. Yeah, good boy. Good job. <laughs> good boy. Who needs a job? Yeah. <laughs> good boy, Cyber. He's helping so good. He's <laughs> just. He's taking a break. He loves doing that. Yeah.